Tomorrow, President Yoon Song Yeol will be leaving for APEC summit in San Francisco. And when he comes back, he'll only have one full day before he leaves for London and Paris. In the run-up to these events, the president says he'll be discussing ways to diversify supply chains and expand trade while seeking joint actions with APEC leaders against illicit military cooperation between North Korea and Russia. Kim do has the latest. With a series of overseas trips starting in just a day, President Yoon Song Yeol emphasized how important they are as he spoke on Tuesday to open a cabinet meeting. First up is the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in San Francisco. He also spoke on his state visit to the United Kingdom as he will be returning to Seoul from San Francisco for just one day before departing for London. The South Korea-UK accord, which already has been announced, will be a key part of the trip and is set to enhance bilateral cooperation going forward. 영국은 유럽의 제 2위의 경제 대국임에도 불구하고 우리나라와의 무역 규모는 독일, 이탈리아와의 무역 규모에 미치지 못합니다. Also after London, he's set to stop by Paris before returning home. This trip is just days before the Bureau International Desk Exposition's vote on who will host the World Expo 2030 and he's set to meet with the voting representatives through an event to deliver his last persuasions on behalf of Busan. In the meantime, President Yoon's interview with the Associated Press was released on the same day and the written interview highlighted the security aspect of his APAC trip. According to AP, he quote, slammed the arms exchanges between North Korea and Russia and said he will bring this up during APAC to emphasize what it really means to global security. He said that current global challenges arising from the war in Ukraine, the Israel-Hamas conflict, the climate crisis, and high inflation offer an opportunity for APEC to demonstrate its leadership again by spearheading efforts to overcome crises and to spur innovation through regional cooperation. He also said to AP, reinforced countermeasures are needed if North Korea's nuclear and missile technology continues to grow, criticizing the regime's apparent weapons cooperation with Russia. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.